said a thing I had. Just definitely getting played at my will. That part, that part, that part. You go flat. I like my ass flat. You like your ass flat. Wow. This is the fetish episode, so uh. Yeah, it is, it is. All right, let's give it a shit. Hey, we ain't gonna get in it right now, but I need y'all to go ahead and get ready to let us know. Don't even say it. Your secret pet. Fuck that shit. Shout out to fucking Donaldson. Let's go! Shout out to Hartsville. Shout out to Icon Cuts. Fuck that! Shout out to Marvin Ray. Shout out to Marvin Ray. Let's get to the shit. We've been drinking too, bro. Let's get the shit. I've been drinking. Shout out to Beyonce. Shout out to Beehive. Shout out to Beyonce. You hesitated with that one, bro. Oh, this is uh, is the new one. Shout out to motherfucking Francis Marion. Shout out to Emperor Mill. Shout out to all the two tiers in a bucket podcast supporters. We love y'all. We love y'all. Family. Talk to me. Talk love, to me. Love. Shout out to uh, Rihanna and Future. That's all. Hey. That's like a big vibe. It is. A big fucking vibe, bro. Uh, you know, we got to shout out to Backwoods. That includes that includes Hemingway. That includes Johnsonville. That includes Panico. That includes Neesmill. King that Street. includes King Street. That includes Gresham. That includes C C uh C Bird. Sick of you. Shout out to the bird. Woo! Woo. Oh, we uh Man, I'm a little warm. Hey. Talk below. Wow. If you ain't shared it yet, please go ahead and share it. Share this fucking shit. Don't Let's take long to do it, bro. Share that shit. What we getting into today? We gonna get in. We gonna get into this debate, of course. Uh, we also gonna get into Tory. He dropped an album last week, addressing, finally addressing his uh, allegations. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, we gonna get into Nicki Minaj. We gonna get into John Legend and Chrissy Teigen. We gonna get into some relationship type. Teens. The debate. Oh yeah, that's the first thing I said. Oh uh, wow, <laughs> it's the liquor. And uh, we're gonna get into uh, fetishes. So, uh, ooh, I'm, I'm ready to talk about. Go fetishes. get you a snack. I'm ready to talk uh, about fetishes. Shout out to the snacks. If you if you like us, go get you a beer. A brew. Uh, tonight's episode is brought to you by Angry Orchard. It's definitely not a beer. Technically, it's a ale. It's definitely an ale. An ale. Go get you an ale. I'm trying to smoke. Hey, camera. get yourself a horn, bro. No, nah, I'm being modest. Okay. <laughs> I'm being fucking modest. It's humble rail tonight. I love that. I, love I don't think I took an L all year. No, all of us took an L. We took some L's. We ain't gonna get into that though. Wow. You definitely took. That's we took not an L. We took some L's. That's bro. not an L. Let's talk about it. It's Let's not, not talk about it. <laughs> I don't That's know what you're talking about. Let's talk about, about it. Talk we about had it. some good. We had a good fucking year. We had a great year. 2020 has been good. Niggas been taking L's because of COVID. I took it. I don't know about this L. I think the last L I took probably 2018. Okay. No City Boys up 10. City Boys up 20, to be honest. <laughs> might be even closer than y'all think. But we're not <laughs> definitely not. It's definitely about a tie game at halftime. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we, we've been doing, this has been a very, man, the shit that we've been doing this year, like, no cap, like, we had a good year, bro. Like, I'm not even going to lie. Like, I ain't mad at 2020. Shout out to motherfuckers. Man, hold, hold the fuck up. Hold definitely not mad at 2020. Ready for 2021, though. Hold on. Yeah. Definitely we got Slug on the damn pod. Um, Shout out my nigga Slug. Nigga birthday coming up and that shit is about to be slack as yeah, fuck. Shit gonna be super slack oh my slack. fucking God. And his boy scared. I'm sc- Ooh, scared and fed. That shit about to be slack as fuck. Um, shout, we got Milwaukee in the building tonight. Mm. Um, ooh. Ooh. Um, I actually want to fuck with my crew. We got... Um, we got another crown in the building tonight. And do. We got a we got a lot of shit in the building tonight. Y'all know uh Peach Crown is out for the season. That's so crazy. Uh, uh, yeah. It'll come back in about a month. I'll find a bottle. Went yeah. to the store to uh get a bottle of Peach Crown and he said, Yo, that's it, buddy. You probably not gonna find it anywhere. I bet you I can go to Lake City tomorrow on fifty two. That the one. What's right across from C V S. 
um, what do you call it? Whit, 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 um, what's CVS, CVS. Right across the um, road from um, CVS. Right across the street. Oh, over there way, uh, I know you're talking about right away, the new Dollar General. Yep. I bet you they got it. They got some? Okay. I'm willing to guarantee okay. you. I know uh, that, salt, that salt and caramel probably about to come back out too, though. I, I, I ain't that. a big fan of that one, though. I thought I was a big fan of it, but uh, I'm not really a big fan it's, of it's it. It's not a, I'm not a fan of it. And it ain't. Um, Whitlock. That the one, Wanda. Whitlock. I'll try to think of the name. Who are that? Some liquor? Whitlock is some liquor? No, that's the name oh, that's of the liquor store. Liquor yeah. store. Okay. Yeah, I remember a uh, dude from my church used to run it. <coughs> Wow, <laughs> it'd, be the, it'd be the church. <laughs> I ain't gonna talk. About, never mind. We ain't gonna talk about church. Hey, is that no. is that wrong though? Like you have in the church, but you run a liquor store. Hey, that's, that's a business. That's a business. I'm not he doesn't illegal buy it. But you selling oh, that poison to the people. Right? You ain't you ain't using it. Mm. Well, mm. you distributing mm. it. Hey, y'all know how I feel about church people. <laughs> oh, let's wow. Not get, let's not get into that. Um, on to a brighter topic. Um, you don't want to get uh church people though. Like yeah. okay, um, so, hold on. Shout out to Heaven Simone. We gotta give her a horn, baby. Uh, we gotta give her a horn, dog. Let me see. You're taking too long. Nah, man. matter of fact, give her something special. She don't need no horn. What she need? She needs something special. Anything? Any kind of good sound effects? Oh, no. Give her a clap. Okay. 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 <laughs> Might look light, but she heavy though. Hey. I don't want to talk to me. My sister said I'm wrong. What I do? What I did? What I do? What I did? Hey, there's a lot of people saying what I do? What I did? A uh, coin from uh, us. Talk to me. <laughs> talk to me. There's a lot of people saying that shit, bro. Oh. So uh, let's get with the shits. Um. Oh. Uh, we had a debate that took place this past week, which uh, between President Donald J. Trump and uh, former Vice President Joe Biden. Joe Sleepy Biden. Uh, I looked at some of it. I ain't even gonna lie. I could not look at the whole thing. I couldn't take it seriously. But I know my guys looked at the whole the, well, majority of it, so I watched eighty percent of it. I watched hundred percent. Talk, talk to me. Y'all yeah, go first. Talk to me. I mean, I'm, well, I'll go first. I'm gonna tell you what I did see. What I did see. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Jamal won the debate. Uh, Biden was just playing into exactly what Trump was trying to do. Trump was definitely trying to knock him off his game. He was over talking him on purpose, and whenever uh, Biden was trying to make a point. Trump would come kind of with some left field irrelevant some shit personal or personal shit, shit. Mm -hmm. and Biden wouldn't even uh, finish the point he was trying to make. He would just uh, comment on what Trump said, and he was just killing him with that shit all night. Like uh, I didn't look at the whole thing, but did, did Biden ever get to a point where he was like making any points or getting across to, any at all? To be honest, I blame the moderator because he literally kind of let Trump punk him the whole I don't time. Think he did. I mean, he was trying to defend himself. Well, you come take my seat. But Trump actually just like, Trump is Trump. Like, he literally just kind of trumped everything. The moderator should have been a little bit more. Trump walking that bitch like me, though. For real. That like, nigga walking that bitch like me, I'm not though. agreeing with anything he said, but Trump ran it. Like, he, he the moderator didn't help he did at all. He, tr he tried, but somebody said, like, a woman moderator would have done a little bit better handling oh, them. A black woman, <clears> definitely. <throat> I've been seeing that a lot. Of, man, a black woman wouldn't have had that shit. But I'm we pretty sure Trump would have said something slick that would have set the whole world on fire. <laughs> yeah. He would have set the world on fire. I mean, he did set the world on fire. Stand oh, back. Yeah. Then stand by. Stand yeah. down and stand by. Yeah. That could, really... you, could you go into that a little bit more? What happened now? I'm sorry. Um, they asked him to denounce white supremacy. Mm. And I heard about that. Trump heard about said, that. Um, like, can you denounce you know, white supremacy? And he said, stand The down. moderator said, can you, can you denounce mm -hmm. white yeah. supremacy? Yeah. He said, stand down, stand by. He said, stand down, stand, stand by. by. Instead of making an actual statement yeah. or actually denouncing it, yeah. so we're pretty much saying he supports. It. He didn't. He did not support. Right. It. So it's like, yeah. So that should, that alone should tell you, even though we knew all before, but on public TV with millions watching, that's what your current. And but we we knew this. Yeah, it's nothing really we, too we knew surprising. This. We knew this. I hate to say it, and we're gonna talk more about it. But basically, he pivoted twice. Shout out to pivot. This word pivot has came up a lot. Lately. I love it here. Um, shout out to Pivot. Um, but, damn, what the fuck I was getting on? You said he pivoted twice? Yeah, she was like, she was like, he talked a lot. He started talking about Antifa. He basically pivoted twice. Um, nobody made a point, just old people arguing. Yeah. Basically. Yeah, I went, the little bit I watched, that's all I saw. I, but, this, I saw no point being made. But this is what happened, and I'm going to talk shit. Talk that shit. Because, 
Niggas swear they're just super smart and everything like that. This is what happens when people say voting doesn't count and don't vote third party. You have parties like Trump and Biden. Now, now it is part, wait, my fault. It is parties, because Biden said he was the whole Democratic Party. But when you ask him a question, why didn't you do anything with Portland, everything that happened to Portland, oh, I'm not elected official yet, so I didn't call. Mm. This is who y'all want. Did Biden say, uh, I know, I saw you put up a status, and you, uh, you, I remember you saying Biden might have saved himself with that answer. I remember you saying that. Do you remember what part that was related to? Yeah. Um, I remember you saying, like, I forgot what Biden it was. might have saved himself with that answer. But just thinking back, do you remember him saying anything that stood out that made you kind of be like, he, oh, I could see, I could see him as the president. No, no, nothing <laughs> made me say like, hey, I can see him as the president, honestly. Um, I'm trying to think. Is these the worst two candidates we've ever had to choose yeah. from? Unfortunately, this might be the worst president. I'm still, I'm still in disbelief that Donald Trump is actually the president of the United States, but that shit. It's really not that unbelievable. <laughs> It's unbelievable. Because if he got in there the first time, which should have shouldn't have happened, yeah, it's yeah. like he's almost guaranteed to win this time. Just I hate to, to say like, it. Like when he first said he was running, I never. I took, thought it was gonna be like yeah. a joke. Like I, yeah, I never took the guy serious. And well, they they came out with a bunch of stuff saying um, that Trump Trump didn't really want to get elected. Like, I don't believe he did. I, I feel like, like he like kind I feel of like, like he was like, doing oh, that. Shit. Uh, I don't know for for some other purpose. They feel like his whole reason for running was for, for like a personal. Something personal he was trying right, to do. Right, because he's filthy about. rich. It's not like right. he, you know what I mean? The president really don't make much. So it's like, he doesn't need to be the president. But like I say, I'm pretty sure. No, Trump is not the right person. Mm-hmm. But Biden isn't either. But people keep telling me, like, shut the fuck up and quit saying third party. But obviously, there's a and picture. It, like, 57% of Americans think that Biden or Trump is an answer. If 50% of America that took the poll. Mm-hmm. Said that neither one of them are the answer, then that means that a third party should win. But we don't talk about third party because people say throwing away a vote. No. And speaking of third parties, somebody in the comments, Mr. Thomas Williams, just spoke about who you've been promoting a lot. Joe Jurgis. Uh, Shout Joe, out Thomas Williams. He said Joe Jurgis actually won the debate without even being there. Mm. Yes. Trump is a direct response to Obama winning two times. And what has Obama did for black people? I have time today. Mm. Mm. No one won that debate. It was a shit show start to finish. It's just the bar so low. Biden only had not to be like Trump. Biden's mentally addled, and Trump just deranged as hell. Thanks. Voting for third party does not split votes. So voting for third party is voting for third party. That's true. Like, they, like that, like that's the easiest way to describe it. If black people have been bamboozled and ho- hoodwinked for centuries. And been pandered by Democrats to vote for Democrats. I'm not fucking voting Democrats. How you feel about not voting at all? I've seen a lot of black people, you know, saying, damn what the ancestors fought for or whatever. They still ain't voting just because they don't see uh, well, it benefiting us they're morons. at all. This recorded live, they're morons. I mean, what, what do you think <laughs> I mean, would I'm happen? I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah, I don't agree with that either. Like, because how can we say it won't work for us when. Actually, we've never all really got on one accord exactly. with the shit. How do we know what could happen when we've never got on one accord? What could happen if we got on one accord? People don't research. Yeah. Like, numerous people hit me up when that was Tuesday or Wednesday night. Tuesday. Know. Tuesday night after the debate was like, Biden said that black people are super predators? Nigga, yeah! Why do you think your uncle been arrested for all these years back in 92 and shit like that? Biden did. So you think this nigga changed overnight? And then he says... I want to change government. Nigga, you've been in government your whole career. I like, hate to say it, but Trump said it. He was in politics for how many years and you ain't Trump been killing that nigga. <laughs> it sounded so Trump regular dead but him. that was a big fact. Like, In my opinion, Trump won. I'm not going to lie. Because Biden didn't have like, nothing to say. But to side with Joe a little bit, Trump was literally trashing him the whole night. Like, yeah. like, if it was a fair, honest debate where somebody, they actually got a chance to talk, Biden probably could have swayed some minds. You but can't he didn't talk, have the opportunity. You can't talk like highly favored and godly when you deal with Trump. You got to talk shit to this nigga. But that's not, pre- like Joe Biden said, he said it in the um, well, debate. That's not presidential. That's not presidential. Trump is the president. But How's that not presidential? But it's not presidential. Like you go you low, go lower. They what well, they go low, go lower. You shouldn't have to be up there arguing. You shouldn't have to be. But like you said, unfortunately, that's just who the president is, and 
But yeah, that wasn't a debate. That did was they, really a. Did they ever touch on uh, Joe Biden and the crime bill? Did that come up at all? Trump brought that up. Mm-hmm. Mm. Did you remember Buttons, uh, Biden's response? <laughs> stutter. <laughs> stutter. 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 Like, what did they two say? And people quit to say, oh, Clinton, you know, Clinton wrote that. No, Clinton did. And I'm tired of people saying Clinton was the first black president. I don't think that nigga did was get hit in over office. Shot Bill Clinton. Like, there been plenty of presidents cheating on their wives before Clinton. His shit was just publicized because of the Bill internet. Clinton. Shout out to Al Gore. I love Bill Clinton. I mean, I don't, I'd have to research it more, but I, I think people uh, say Bill Clinton was the first black president because it was kind of like a prosperous time. And even though he <laughs> fucked us up with the, the crime bill and all that bullshit. Yeah. But uh, I feel like black people was, was kind of made a come up during that time. And, yeah. Uh, it was, you know, a lot of black people started getting successful during that time. And that's why they kind of feel like during his reign, mm-hmm. uh, the Since Trump. things benefited them, they, they call him the, the first black president. Does Trump care about black people? Fuck no. I don't think he care about white people. He care about the bottom yeah. dollar. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Basically. <laughs> Trump just care about his damn self. That was, the, that was a super predator comment. That was the crime bill. Clinton actually said super predator, not Biden. What? No, because I just looked at the clip. Hey, and I want to know. I I don't know that my my dog would to say Obama didn't do anything for black people. I really Obama signed measures. I really can't argue against him. But if anybody has info on what Obama did during his reign, uh, please share that in the comments. I'm just I'm just curious. Oh yeah, because you, you you go hard on Obama. I'm just curious. I don't. I haven't researched. Obama just know how to talk to people. I like, really, talk to people. Yeah, That's I, it. I, I'm not into politics that much, but I don't know. That seemed kind of hard to say he didn't do anything. I'm just curious. Crime. If anybody has more info on what Obama did uh, during his presidential reign, Crime please bill share. was good on paper, but it's horrible society. There's so many black people that agree with it. Obama offered up hope and change. Yeah. Facts. Bro. <laughs> what you got to say, real? Well, let it out, man. I mean, that's, I mean he, was, he was inspirational. He was motivational. He don't get a plus. He don't get a plus for that. I mean, and it's only so much he can do in that little bit of time. Look. Uh-oh. Look. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm reading these comments first. <laughs> nah, and then the Republican good. blocked him during the same uh, time. Obama wasn't allowed to do anything. Okay, I hear that a lot. Trump's a completely self-serving individual who truly doesn't give a fuck about anyone but himself, but he's also a hardcore racist. Agreed. Trump was a salesman. Maurice, what clip you posted? I see you say you posted the clip. What clip you posted? <laughs> and it's COVID rough. So what you got to say? What you got to say about that? About what part? Uh, Obama offered change and hope. Uh, also, Obama wasn't allowed to do much. The Republicans were blocking him. If you uh, if you black, mm-hmm. if you were black, if you are black, rather, between the age of probably like five to like 13, and Obama's the president, you like, hey, I can be president of the United States someday. But like niggas... I ain't gonna say woke niggas. Like niggas who know like the world and shit like that. And Nick, bro, I mean, just look at his politics. You won a Nobel Peace Prize for the work that you did in Chicago. You then continuously the drone strike kids, teenagers, and women at weddings and shit in the Middle East. And considering it okay because collateral damage because you try to kill Al Qaeda members. I hear you. What would you have liked him to do to get done? During his presidential reign, sending the SEAL team, you don't have to drone strike. What else would you like to know? Like, far as black people, for us, uh, anything he did more for the. It's not a lot. It's not a lot. He did. He done, bro. Like he he definitely. He did not denounce anything about Dylan Roof in Charleston. He just went. He just went to the funeral. Didn't he pull up at the funeral? It's on Amazing Grace. You know what I think? Uh, I don't know. Him doing that. I mean, that was that Michelle, was showing that he actually cared. Michelle also did the same for us, too. I don't think she, Michelle said it was for the workout. You see, I ain't listen to that shit. You think Trump would have went to that funeral? Fuck no. So why, he probably would why, why you coming down on Obama? Because you, you black, you say you for us, you don't do shit. And then you give us Joe Biden. You endorse Joe Biden when there's, a, in my opinion, a better candidate, Andrew Yang, Bernie Sanders. Well, he did instate the Indigenous Peoples Act, which could affect black people, but it's complicated as fuck. Thank you. He didn't need to say shit. He knew they weren't shit. And Obamacare, and people quick to say, oh, the big pharmacy of Obamacare. 
bro, you his first two or three years, he had he had control of the Senate. Dude literally could have do free health care. He yeah. Yes. My question is Oh right. Drone strikes on Americans and bystanders without trial and due process as well, except in the collateral damage. He also locked up in Australia's whistleblowers while telling us off to reveal the corruption in our own system. Also, you know how much hell we give Trump about um, immigration? Mm -hmm. Guess who that started under? They don't want to talk about, about it. it. They don't want to talk about that. Yeah. I hear you. He um, don't like that. I got to read I got I, I to read it. Because people, when it comes to politics, if you're talking politics just with somebody that just know how to talk, they can throw, they can finesse they can you throw and make all kinds of numbers out there. They can throw all kinds of shit out there and make it sound believable. Right. But you really got to go and research and shit. So before I just believe something somebody's saying, I just got to go look up shit. Like I said, it's something I got to get more into. Nothing is free, but don't, we don't want the people to think that, hey, you know, this country don't have money. We could pull th $3 trillion out of our ass. And, real, you got a, you got a question. So, real, who would you say was the best president in the history? Knowing real, knowing real, he'd probably say nobody. <laughs> Maybe JFK. Mm. I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah, JFK is highly ranked. To say you can't pick just like one. They, like over. people always throw. Like I've always heard JFK being thrown as one of the best. Abe Lincoln. Yeah. Uh, they throw Ronald Reagan up there a lot. <laughs> they definitely smoke JFK. Uh, yeah, they did. JFK, uh, Abe Lincoln, Ronald Reagan. And I feel like one of them Roosevelt's. I don't know exactly which one, but they throw uh, FDR, Franklin. They throw, they throw them. Uh, they throw them. It's kind of hard just to pick one over everyone, though. Ain't, not, ain't none of the ones we've been having. I know Reagan. Uh, Reagan went for us, though. The issue with the two party shit, bro. <laughs> Reagan definitely went for us. Oh, that nigga. Oh, shit. <laughs> Trump is the like Reagan 2020. Reagan didn't give a fuck about us. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you. The reason we had to get rid of the two party system was um is because lobbyists. Like they don't have their own agenda. Like the people paying them that say, Hey, we're gonna keep funding you, your campaigns and make sure you good and you stay for life, but you gotta do what we tell you to do. The niggas bought, they're corrupt. How many I'm gonna let a nigga that's corrupt and bought give me hope. When you running for office? And which office what office you running for running first? For Mayor of Lake City. <laughs> We're going to have $2 Tuesday. Two tears in a bucket. Wow. Hey, we got $2 Two tears in a bucket podcast family. Would y'all vote for real <coughs> as mayor of your city? I'm just curious. Probably not. I feel like, I feel like politics is your calling. Mm -hmm. Facts, I feel like that's your calling. And I was talking to somebody the other day. I'm like, what's the difference between a public servant and a tyrant? Ooh. A public servant really cares about the people. Like the tyrant, like, like they are controlling the people, but they don't really go for it. Let me give a shout out to Jimmy Carter. Uh, a lot of people were replying that he was uh, one of the better presidents. So, a uh, shout out to Jimmy Carter. No parties. I feel like America. Could, I'm gonna be a little radical right now. Let's I go. Like, I feel like America should be a dictatorship. Mm. To be honest, what do you feel about people who say pop? Well, basically, politics is literally just like professional liars. It's the government system. It's all uh, I'm not saying a hoax, but what do you mean? it's gonna be ran the way it's ran. Like. There's no reason to go all out. They already know who's going to win. They're going to pick who they want to pick. Votes don't matter. How do you feel about people who think that way? Well, you got to think. People people quit to say the Constitution and these amendments and shit. And like, these people, like, this is stuff written in 1776 and, like, a little after that. This is when black people were three first. Pause right there. Person. Pause right there. You don't think it's crazy? That we still uh, go off of shit written in 1776. When shit was... Off. How many years ago that was, bro? Like, a lot. And we still go off that today when we, in 2020? When we were basically irrelevant. So yeah. a black person was three-fifths of a person. That's and why that's what we still go off of today. Yeah. That's why people... Why, the fu why can that be changed? That's why people say the government is a whole system. It's a hierarchy. It's literally like... I said a whole... Quote unquote, Illuminati matter of fact, talk. Matter of fact, you shout know, out man. to Icon Cuts. Let me find it. Uh, one of the barbers at Icon Cuts says something um, that I that I loved. Hold on, hold on. Let me find because DJ B Lord shared it. Hold on. Shout out to B Lord. 
Let me find. Okay. Justin Fox from Icon Cuts. This is mm-hmm. what he said. Shaking my head. This presidential debate is a joke. People listen. Lead, govern, and preside over your own homes and lives accordingly. Don't allow these idiots to dictate nor determine the outcome of your lives. Unfortunately, still go vote and let them fight over this country and their egos. But here's what we can do in the meantime. Go to work. Make your money. Take care of your own. Spend time with your family and friends. Serve your community. Love your God. Love yourself and love your neighbor. Pray. Pray for this country and pray for the world. That's it. I'm with him, 100%. For I, can't, real. I can't say nothing because they say we looking at my shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm with him 100%. Bro. I feel like, man, like I'm going to still go vote because right. I, I do feel like, man, our ancestors, like, really they fought for the right. Fought for that shit. But niggas, lies for that shit. But there's so I, many I, woke niggas. Yeah, I just feel like the least, even if you ain't fucking, you ain't fucking with none of them, like what, the man? least you can do. Lo- for, at least local shit. Yeah, for what our people did, the least you can do is go vote. Like, our people died. Like put their life on. I'm gonna be honest. I'm, I'm gonna still go vote, but at the same time, you know, I'm not gonna let that shit run me. I'm not. I'm Mm-mm. not gonna lose no sleep over no politics that night. At all. Like I'm gonna do what I gotta do to make sure my people straight, regardless. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I think that's enough for politics for yeah, tonight. <laughs> politics get my anxiety going. It really does. Ooh, Ooh. Jesus. Vote for me for Mayor Lake City. Um, Two dollar Tuesdays. Donate my whole salary to teachers and shit like that. We're gonna build a big old strip club in the middle of downtown. We're gonna get right. You hear me? Remy and lemon pepper wings. I like that. Talk to me. I'm definitely ready for you to uh you'll probably get into politics at 40. I see you get into politics. You know, a lot of people quit a lot of people quit to say your social life too crazy to do politics. You know what I gotta tell them? I don't give a fuck. Bruh, you don't even if know. Trump can be the president Anything of the United happen. States. Anybody. I, bruh, I have Nothing to hide that I won't <laughs> say about myself. If Trump can be the president of the United States, how you gonna tell somebody just because they do a little bit of drinking, have a little bit of fun, that they're not season. fit? They're yeah. not fit to run for office. I'm sick of you. That's I love bull- my life. That's bullshit, bro. Hey, bro. Do <laughs> hey, do what you wanna do, bro. Okay? Please. Don't let nobody hold you back, bro. Straight up, that go for anybody. What's next? What's next? Tory, Tory, Tory. Yeah, let me make this quick. Um. Maggie, Maggie, Maggie. Five minutes. I don't know. I think it's going to be a little longer than five It's minutes. not. Yeah, it's definitely not. It's really nothing to talk about. So if you've been hiding under a rock somewhere and don't know. We drink Angry Orchards. We're sponsored by Angry Orchards tonight. Ad. <laughs> ad. <laughs> Tory Lanez is said to have allegedly shot Megan Thee Stallion. Okay, talk to me. Up until, and that happened over the summer. When? June? July? Yeah. Up until last Thursday night, Friday mm-hmm. morning, Tori had not said one word. One word. Late Thursday evening, Tori <gasps> posts on Instagram. Send me to Canada at this matter point. Of fact, matter of fact, I'm going to go find a post. Oh, shit. I'm going to read it verbatim on what he said last Thursday. Last Thursday, Tori said, there's a time to stay silent and a time to speak. No, that's the wrong one. Yeah, it is. That's definitely <laughs> the right one. Yeah, he deleted the other one. Anyway, he said respectfully, I got something to say. Tune in at 9 p.m. Pacific time. So everybody thought he was going live. That's what I thought. I thought everybody got from that post that uh, that's what I got. I'm going live. But hmm, little did we know. Album. Tori dropped the whole album talking about the shit. Matter of fact, since we got, since we got, uh, we don't own the rights to this music. Let's go ahead and play. Let's just play a little oh, bit of the intro. Shit. Let's play a little bit of the intro of Tori's album. We're gonna play some of the intro to Tori's album. Then we gonna get into it. Oh shit! <laughs> we have two Tory fans here. No, I'm a I am a Megan Thee Stallion fan and a Tory Lanez fan. But if we want, we want to talk about being legal and everything like that. Like, you know, you're innocent to prove guilty, right? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. So let's keep that same injury with Tori. Oh. 
it's one of the crazier stories we've heard of, guys. I know. As it's unfolding, it's like... Fuck Tory Lane, okay? Now, I'm from Houston, the whole night unfolded on social media. You are the alleged shooter of Megan Thee Instagram, in the pool with Tyler Jenner. Was she backtracking with what she said originally? It's, you know, maybe that's why they don't have... This is the intro to Tory's app. We're going to listen to a little story. bit of this. Bitch, it ain't... Tory's allowed him. She's going to get... Don't get a date for Friday, August 21st. Go to date star people. If you haven't so shared the yeah. live, go ahead and share. We're discussing Tory Lanez and Megan Thee Stallion. We got to talk about Tory Lanez and Megan Thee Stallion. Cash is looking for you, dog. Because the police came out saying, we didn't even know she was shot. That's who I believe. Man, the best thing for Tory Lanez is for real. I don't. He needs to just be gone. Done with this. You got to know the truth. Torque with some shit to it, bro. Fuck that shit. Hey, they ready to see me in the cell. Like how he posted out with thirty thousand dollar bill. I'm the ghost shot niggas know I made that dope float on the scale. I had them hoes going crazy, fees cracking, going pale and on real. I got that flow, it's on sale. If you need a rush, coke blowing out my fiends' nose like the speaker bus. Whole car be deed up, talk now we teeing up. Making people trying to frame me for a shooting, but them boys ain't cleaning up. I see how they teaming up, watching and I'm calculating. Gotta keep it quiet, I can't jeopardize the outcome waiting. Seeing certain niggas hating like, how this nigga hating? How didn't get these people so much features, made these niggas famous. They was on the blog saying I'm canceled from this entertainment. I was on that Spotify like 30 million monthly listeners. I'm fucking going crazy, and my fans support me brazen. Everything I do is for you, I promise I'll be on it daily. I got number love to spread, but niggas hate me. Hurt my heart to see them Twitter figures come from K-Lonies and Cash Page. But I flip the switch, I'm gripping money at that fast pace. And don't ask me for shit when it get real, that's my last favor. Can't cry now, cause I'ma laugh later. Girl, you had a nerd to write that statement on that alpha David. Knowing I ain't do it, but I'm coming at my truest. Trying to keep this shit 200 with you, shorty, I can't prove it. But them people in your ear, they the true ones that I feel. They really got you thinking Tory Lanez would do you in for real. Don't forget you was my bitch, I held it down and kept it real. I would never paint no fake picture of you, just for some meals. And I thought that you was solid too, but look at how you doing me. Look at how you doing me. People trying to ruin me. And what's even worse is I'm still thinking about you and me. How you going live my birthday with all your jewelry to try to make some fool of me. But I love you hard, so I'm gonna cool it be. Cause I was cooling right with QBB, that wasn't stupid me. Somehow I'm still down to renegotiate the unity. My heart is a foolery, this shit is just confusing me. I'm going through these phases, but I gotta stack that paper. And the real estate niggas hating, took me off that application. But when they took that from me, they really took that from my baby. What the fuck I'm finna say to his old lady? What the fuck y'all mean? My son don't need a house, my baby mama don't need safety. And even though I got the payment, the real estate niggas still hating, cause he watching me all on the news. But I ain't charged with no cases. He say the owner say my case is looking crazy. How the fuck that even makes sense? New times turn to past tense. All I want is straight cash. Niggas say I lack sense. Star player, hair and lies coming from the back bench. Killer be killed, that's the reason I don't have friends. Niggas lying on the crody. Niggas saying I'm deported. Oh, now I'm 5'3. Niggas saying I'm a shorty. But little bitch, I'm 5'7. Money on me, side stepping. And if I stand on my wallet, you can see my thighs in heaven. One umbrella gang, and when we come back, don't you try rapping. Before I let these niggas breathe, I gotta teach a couple lessons. Gotta see a couple questions. How the fuck you get shot in your foot? Don't hit no bones and tennis. Ooh. Mm. Mm. I don't think y'all heard that. How the fuck you get shot in your foot? Bullet don't hit no bones and tennis. Okay. I, look I think we should let Tizzy go first. What is there to talk about? How you feel? How do you feel Damn, my phone picked about, because people feel the way about the timing that he dropped it. People just feel the way about him dropping it the way he did at all. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then some of the things he said, people feel the way about certain things he said. Which, what, what was your overall take from that whole process? Well, to be honest, like I said, right now it's still he said, she said by the seashore. Me personally, I can't say who's guilty or not, but I feel as though mm, he's guilty. You can come out with how many tracks on the album proclaiming your innocence. Hey, it still, it still has to go through the trial, whatever the case may be, but I, something about it just don't seem right with me. If you're innocent, me personally, I'm going to come out screaming off the gate, hey, I ain't about to sit and let my name get slandered. No. no. Especially if I didn't do it. No. And like you said, Warrell, a couple of weeks ago, a week or so ago, you know, you're not supposed to speak on it. He's speaking on it now. So you basically said Megan was wrong for speaking on it. He's speaking on it. 
So I guess what's the difference? She started first. It don't matter. It's a legal thing. Yeah. You're not supposed to speak on it. If you know, it's supposed to go through. I just, I just don't think that she should have did this. And I it's okay for him to do this. He's yeah. talking about it the whole album, supposedly. Yeah. Talking about how much he care about her. How much you love her? Man, mm, ah, shit. This story, first of all, the story, everybody, this shit got too many plots and twists. First, off, first, off, first off, first off, first off, first off, first off. I'm like, besides Megan, mm-hmm. three other people on the scene. Mm-hmm. Correct me if I'm not, and first off. Four. Well, yeah, besides Megan, three other before people. Before y'all say, I'm not taking it up for Tori. Oh, shit. I love Megan, and I love Tori. But. You might go to a club. Besides Tori, besides Tori, there were two other people. Correct me if if I'm wrong. Has those have those two other people came out and said that they did not shoot that weapon? Is mm-hmm. there anything on record where those the girl, her best friend, and the security guard? Is there anything on record saying that they did not pull the trigger? Not at all. No. So, I get why people upset with Tori because Megan Megan came Framed out on them, live and said he did it. He did it. So I get that. But I'm a person. I look, I like to look at things from every angle. Bingo. You Optimistic. can say I, I'm not just gonna go with what I never just go with what one person said because innocent to prove it. Yes. It's always oh yeah, absolutely different sides of every story. So I feel like people kind of just cause she said it and she might have feel like he did it, but you you really got to go back to what she said. She said her back was turned, and that's what fucked her up. How? But quick question. Okay. If you were in this situation, let's just say we in the club or whatever, 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 a fight break out, somebody shoot. Are you going to come out and say one particular person did it without you knowing? You just assuming? People do that. Because mm. people say somebody else said But if you somebody don't know, it. why don't why you say you don't know? What's, what are you getting out of pr- framing one person after you assumption? Her team. If you got a, if you, if you, team. If you feel in some way about a person, you think they did it, and then this part, then you get. I understand that part. She feel like the part, she feel like his team was. The day she went live, she felt like his team was putting together some kind of plan against her to attack her. Of course she didn't say that. And I'm not saying he did. I'm not saying he didn't do it. But before we just jump all on this man and cancel him, say he did it, say he ain't shit, say he a bitch, it's still two other people that were there. They have not put out any statements saying shit. Megan and the other girl unfollowed each other. So obviously... There is something wrong oh, there's there. There's a whole lot of twists going on. The only thing she could do is get him canceled. Also, he beat the case. Also, I heard he was told, like when the whole incident happened, he was told not to say anything about Megan's team. team. Hmm? Let's see what they say. Let's see what the people say. Let's see what they're saying. All right, I got I to I gotta alert. <laughs> <laughs> Meg and her best friend were struggling for the gun. Ho, 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 ho. I need everybody. This was put out last night. We don't know how credible this source is. Definitely don't know how credible this is. But it was is. leaked last night, and we got a hold of it. But it's, Me- it's, it's going to make you think. Meg and her best friend were struggling for the gun. Both of them was pointing the gun at the ground so no one would get shot. Tori steps in and tries to part it. Keep in mind, he's the reason why they're fighting. As he tries to Pause part right there. I don't know if people know the whole story about that. Okay. Tori was fucking Kelsey. the friend first. Yes. And then Meg and him and Meg that. started fucking. Meg was hiding that her and Tori was fucking from the friend. And I don't think Tori either told Meg either that he's fucking the best friend. The friend found out at this event. This yeah, event. yes, yes. Tori best. But yeah, Shout all this was over Kylie Shout a couple weeks ago. Season. Okay, but we're going to continue. Shout it was Kylie. Kylie originally, but okay. Let's go with this story. As he tries... Mm-hmm. As he tries to part it, the guns go off. They all drunk. Meg don't know what happens because she's too drunk. Meg team, which is Rock Nation, tells her to say it was Tori who willfully shot her. Meg team's called Tori, tell him don't make any statements or else. So Tori gets fed up because he's losing a lot of money staying silent. And then Tori decides to release the album giving hints at what did and didn't happen. He's giving hints because if he says anything, if he can use it, gets him in the court. Keep in mind, 
Tory Gunn residue came back negative, so he didn't do it. And Meg and her best friend still not talking. The reality is Meg shot herself, but she can't believe it because she was too drunk. Now, I don't think that Meg, Meg shot, shot herself. herself. No. Now, I don't think that part. Think Everything did. else. I could believe to it. To be honest, that whole little story is hogwash. That's an opinion <laughs> that fell out the sky. That quick caveman, it make, nigga. It makes no sense at all. That's an opinion that me and you can make up on a freestyle. That, like, that's, like, that don't serve nothing. Like Tory shot Meg. That's an opinion. Because nobody knows that's a fact. Oh, it's like, not a fact. Meg don't know. It's not a fact. She it's was drunk and her back was turned. It's but, hogwash. But that yeah. he says, she says shit on paper. That's what she's doing. How do you know that? My back is turned. I'm drunk. That's he say, she say. She don't yeah. know. Oh, that's he say, she say. That's what I'm saying. That don't amount to a hill of beans to me, personally. <laughs> that's hogwash. Like, it's the hogwash and the hill of beans. That's not like an old man. I come out seven My years thing old. is, and I love women, Can we hear and, and I stand for women. But until everything comes out, Tori ain't guilty. Innocent to prove guilty. Absolutely. I would have to agree with Mr. Jarrell. Yeah, innocent until proven guilty. I definitely agree. Like I said, if I just had to choose a side, it doesn't look too swell for him. But he's innocent until proven guilty. Mr. John Doe could have shot her from the corner in the bushes. Do you think women understand the power of their paws? Yes. The wow. power of their I, words. I, of their words. Like, you you can literally, you can fuck somebody like, well, particularly a male. Mm -hmm. You can really fuck a, a male's life up by your words. Like, it, like once it reaches public opinion. Oh, yeah, it's it, out there. It's, 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 it's done with. It don't matter if he innocent or not. All, all a woman really got to do is say that. So that's true indeed, though. I Bruh, look at um football player said football player about to go had these these numerous high school football player numerous D one offers. I think it's on Netflix maybe. Um, girl said, "Hey, this guy, he raped me. Lost like fifteen. Brian Banks lost like fifteen years of his life. Come to find out." He ain't do it. And I'm, every woman, like, don't, like, make statements like this. But we got to think, like, bro, like, let's let the justice system play out. And they're not 100% right all the time. But, yeah, like I said, right now, everything's opinionated. She might have a gunshot wound, but how, he, how you get shot, it don't touch no bones and tendons. Who said that? Tori said that. Okay. You can get shot. And not how, how many people, so now, how many people on the side ever been shot before? Talk to me. So now, Who been shot at before? So now she didn't get shot. Who got for raised real? Before. Let's talk about it. So now she we can do CSI Miami general. right now. So now she now she lying about getting shot in general. I don't know if I agree with that part. Come on now. Let's, I, let's I ain't gonna say I ain't gonna say the girl didn't get shot. It was in the heel. Oh wow, with a twenty-two. Now nah, what I what I will say I don't know. If it was like a bullet actually hit her foot, I think it was uh, like some uh, what do you call it bullet fragments. I think that's what hit her. <coughs> Maze a big girl, and I do think it was a situation. I do think it was a situation. Might <laughs> sound wrong. I seen some videos. I seen some shit. You bleeding, everything like that. Your adrenaline does stop at this point. If you got shot in your foot, you're not walking properly. Can't say that. Yes. If you ain't never got bucked before, you can't say that. If you got shot in your fucking heel, you can't say that. you're not walking on your fucking heel. You can't say that. Just like, hey, you never, hey. That drilling wear out, you, we got a medical field person in here. I shoot you in your foot. It's been some time that I've passed. You get in the car with me. I just shot you in your foot, though. Time in the past. You walk it perfectly fine. Maybe like a little slight limp. Is that possible? Exactly. You fucking Wolverine. Hey. What the fuck? Hey, you never. You know. should never make a statement if you really don't know what the fuck happened. That's to, facts. to you because you drunk as shit. That's facts, though. Meg took some shrapnel. Facts. I broke my big toe and walked a mile drunk as fuck. Just <laughs> <It was> liquor. <laughs> you ain't even shot. Though. That's I, a I definitely think. I definitely think there was a tussle that went on. I think a gun. I think a gun was. It's like a movie to me right now. I think a tussle went on. I think a. <laughs> I think a gun was Chill involved, ball. and I think a gun went off. But I don't. I don't think anybody was intentionally trying to shoot somebody. So she's Cheddar Bob. She shot herself. I don't think she did it. Mm. 
Next week, we're going to find out somebody tried to rob them. Yeah, it's too much. He's, I don't, I don't, shit, it's not, okay. weird. I don't, want, weird. I don't want to come off because they can ready to cancel me now. I'm not saying. Let's talk. And Tori also said one of his bars is when you got back in that car, you knew that you were safe. Wow. Wow. Okay. You know where home is at. I don't know, but if I thought somebody shot at me. I'm not about to get back in the car you with You definitely me. broke your jaw, jaw. It was eating steak for a couple of days. Are you getting back in the car with somebody <laughs> that just shot you? No. That you felt that just tried to shoot you? Are you getting back in the car with them? I feel safe with you. Who shot me? Just like that toxic shit we had in the group chat earlier. Um, I, I'd rather see you unhappy with me than happy with somebody else. Facts. That's, that's the same thing. Why you happy it with, been why you happy with another nigga for? Exactly. For what? He could have He could have shot her on purpose, but yet... She mm -hmm. was fine. Maybe she liked that shit. He didn't shoot her. We don't know that. Bro, there's no way I shoot you, you get in the car with me, then you lie and tell the police. This, you know how many... Oh, Lord, I ain't going to say that on her. Maurice said it on the head, too. Maurice said it on the head, too. And we, we get trash for this, too. If we treat Tori like he did it, it'll, it'll hurt him until the truth comes out. But if we say Meg lying, it makes our women feel like we don't have their backs. It's, right. a, it's a tough situation. That's why I say just let the shit play out, bro. I'm not canceling nobody. No, I don't think you should cancel me. Right, just stay in the middle until everything. No, you are Team Meg. You cancel Tory. I ain't gonna lie, I'm siding with Meg, but you, I ain't gonna say who y'all, but y'all a little bit more Team Tory than no, I am I'm Team, team Meg. No, I'm Team. Let's get all the facts. I just feel no. like it's, I feel like it's wrong to just negative. Not. When it first came out in July, when people was like, Meg got shot. Apparently it was Tory, but Ty Kylie's with her. I said, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> what? Then what? the story was a little lit. What? The story back then was a little more like, okay, maybe he did. Okay. I was like, what? The but crack cocaine? As time went on, these new stories come out. It's like, okay, at this point, <coughs> I'm about to stop following it. Bruh. Next week, it'll be something else on Shane. Meg said she needed, felt the need to protect him. Exactly. I'm not protecting anybody that's shooting me. And if somebody shoot me, best believe. You snitching. What? That's what you basically, you about to say that, right? No. What you about to say? I bust back. I think she, I, I think whatever happened was not in, was, wasn't intentional, which is why she felt comfortable getting back in the vehicle. But when she, um, when all the shit going on and his team trying to pretty much take up for him and kind of making it seem like, uh, I don't know, maybe she was saying something wrong in regards to him shooting her. She should never She took lie. offense to that. She should. She should have never went on live. That, that's fucked her. And that's going to fuck her with her case. She went on live. Tori dropped a whole album. Not, but she said, this is my shooter. My back was turned. Yeah. I was fucked up. He said he didn't do it. Same thing. But a like, wash. But it's the same thing. Bro. She. Uh, Rihanna said the same thing when she was being. Speaking of. I'm glad we brought that up. Y'all canceled Tori. Tori possibly did it. Y'all nigga idolized Breezy. Yes, niggas do. Unfortunately, you're right. And that nigga whipped Rihanna ass. No, uh, 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 he did. And okay. Zid. No, she, no, he didn't. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are we Barbie. really about to go back to 2000? Yes. She, she, Chris she, yes. We got to really go she's back that far? She's from Barbados. You think she said that last Barbados? Don't. That nigga's crazy. She I don't. Sorry. Wow. Sorry. I, I, Sorry. They fought. I'm not they fighting fought. a female. They fought. I don't care. I got, I got too many. Nah, Chris Breezy was was low key canceled. But I think this is what I think. His stardom, his stardom. I, I think how young he was, he was young too. I think his, how young he was helped too. But he's a he's his stardom. He's a big star. Tori's like eh, he can go and leave, and, and the music thing, industry is gonna be all another right. Another thing, another thing. Chris Brown was remorseful. Tori ain't on going, some aggressive oh, stuff. Terry she aggressive. started that shit though. But apparently they say Meg was starting that shit because she be beating on Tori and drunk and beat his ass. So it's okay so, for men to beat women now. That's what y'all saying. Oh, it's okay for men to be with me. It's the no, I'm not saying y'all. I'm saying like whoever. <laughs> I'm not in the comments. I'm saying whoever basically kind of trying to say, well, she started it. A man should hit a woman. Regardless, I'm not hitting a woman. Y'all might strike her. Y'all might. 18 or 19. Tombstone or DDT her. I'm not going to hit no woman. Sorry. I think what helped Chris Breezy, he was young and he was remorseful. He's a star. A superstar. And he actually, and he dealt with that trauma himself. And, way, he, and he spoke about it. He the spoke, way he went about he it, he spoke was, about it. He spoke about it openly. He he grew up seeing that. 
He spoke about it openly. He was remorseful. He went about it classy. He was super what about, young at the what time. about Fabulous? What happened? What? Who? Fab beat the fuck out of Oh, Fab did beat that, uh, that lady up. They, I, 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 he gave her a ring she after like he beat her up. Shit, so. so I'm like, if y'all gonna cancel, she you said what? No, that was I'm like, if y'all gonna, if y'all gonna say like, call across the board because you just don't like him because it's mid, you know, just say no, that. No, I like Tori, but Fabulous was already canceled. We ain't gonna tell you something. We're not gonna talk about Fabulous. I think it, it hit different. Oh, I mean, Fabulous, like, Fabulous are already a legend. Talk to he me. ain't really doing a whole lot of shit. Like he ain't really right. in the eye like that. But Tori is like a star. Tori ain't making our stars right now. Tori's a star. Yes. See y'all, y'all what, what's wrong? Tori not a star. Tori, ah, Tori Dings is not a star. Definitely a star. He's not a superstar, but he's a star. Definitely a star. Okay. He's not a star. He's like a medium. He's a star. He's not a superstar, but you got to think. He's B plus. He's B plus. No. B plus. He's definitely B plus. J Cole. Wowza. J Cole is A. J Cole. Okay. J Cole's no. a fucking A. Hey, J Cole is a fucking A. No, like Drake, Jay Z, they're A. They're, they're A plus. No, they're they're, they're God tier. Yeah, they're Wait, God rappers, tier. Wait, rappers, stars, or like star. celebrities. Star. Just like. We talk about let's say if you want right to say right. select like it's a whole because yeah, Tory Lane's Tory Lane's personality hell he might be more popular than J Cole to be honest because his personality he was getting ready to be like he was on his way to become a superstar with quarantine radio I still think he a B he's he's a, he's a B list star he's B hmm. I give him B Tory's a remixer C y'all don't listen to Tory music y'all listen to these chicks tapes listen to the New Toronto. Definitely gotta listen to the new Toronto. <laughs> Y'all can't listen to the radio on top forty shit. Y'all All gotta right, listen to yeah. that shit. Mm. Those long Cole five is. minutes on Tory Lanez and Megan. Um, what's next? Uh, we about to Dr. Dre definitely beat up his baby mama. But we cancel him. Speaking of Dr. Dre, Dr. Dre, well, he it's still a long way to go in his divorce, but his wife is trying to get like uh one point five million monthly, <laughs> and he won yeah, that tough. part. That would hurt him anyway, but yeah, I'm glad he won. Some men can be provoked, though. Men deal with just as much mental and physical abuse as women, but... That's true. Talk to me. How yeah. That's true. <laughs> How could y'all be ready to cancel me and shit? I just thought... That's true, indeed. I done, I done, been, I done been abused by a woman before. Wowza. A few different women. I've seen, I've seen it firsthand. Boom, boom, boom. I've seen twice two of them. I've only seen one. you definitely seen... You definitely seen one back. Oh, no, I definitely seen two. Definitely seen two. Uh, it's the second one. I didn't witness any domestic huh? violence disputes. I didn't see huh? anything. The I second one? Atlanta? Not that long ago. You, wow. You talking about Atlanta? Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't even. I forgot about that. I was talking about 2008. You just get your ass tail. I'm talking about 2020. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it's, wow. there's no reason why. There should be no reason why. Oh, we got hella viewers now. There should be no reason why men should still put their hands on a female, regardless of what's going on. It's too easy to just walk away and stuff like that. Like, I got sisters. I got a mother. Cousins. I got cousins, stuff like that. Like, I feel some type of way if she say, hey, you know, no nigga put their hands on me. Because then, like, I got to get my... Well, I agree. You should... There's absolutely pretty much no reason... You should have to put your hands on a female. Now let me ask y'all this: How y'all feel about this? Okay. Oh shit! If a female has a weapon, trying to hit you with it. Well, I'm going to get killed. That's the only question I'm at. That's that's that may be the only. You have to disarm them. What the fuck? But I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Once I disarm them, it's like you done had me threatened for my good nature health, <laughs> and I'm the most modest, I, I was, caring person I, I, in the world. I feel like that's the only. No. In that situation, mm. disarm. if you're if you're about to be abused with a weapon, disarm them. Try yeah, to yeah. disarm. Them. Don't just disarm try them. to. But once you disarm them, that adrenaline rush. You. The fuck? Oh, be I mean, I feel trying. like I feel like I feel like there's a way you can like just hold them, like, hold them down. I'm scared of Hold that. them down until they, until they can calm down. But Bro. definitely, other than that, there is absolutely no reason that you should have to put a. That you should put hands on a female. Brian McIntosh will never hit a woman. That's some, uh, that's some bitch shit. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I don't feel like there should be I'm, no I'm reason I'm going to say that. That's some bitch shit. There should be no reason why. Like, if she, like, try to throw. I ain't got no respect for no man. She try to throw something at me. She try to fight me. She got a knife or something like that. Like, you know, oh. just, just, you know, but close, cra- close the distance. It's crazy. That- just hug her. Disarm her. Call the police. 
call the police. I ain't calling the police on no woman. A, str- a strong woman without a weapon? Yeah. No, with the weapon. With the weapon. That can overpower you. Then what are you going to do? Because, like, man, like, at this point, <laughs> if she's stronger the, than me, you need to call the police. Something wrong. <laughs> something is really wrong. If now, it's some, it's some situations like that. That the one. Oh, you talking to oh, a imagine, big block? Oh, imagine see uh, Serena Williams. So, man, you would call the police? And what buddy she talk to now? <sighs> he not. He not. He about that. I mean, he could still be strong. It's with man this, strength. Just looking. Strength. You know. <laughs> come on, we know we know Serena strong. You should use Meg because she's about six ten. Okay, hey, Meg is Meg and Tori. Yeah, what if Meg is trying to attack you? Meg, what do you do? Call the police? Well, I grab Meg. I definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Earth. Oh yeah. I grab. Meg I was gonna ass. tell a story that I told y'all Earth. before. I said, man, girl, bro, man, damn, damn. <laughs> Boy, you better fuck up. <laughs> Meg, bring your big ass over. If she hit you with that two piece, boop, boop. <laughs> you on the ground. Boop. What are you gonna do then? You know what? It, let, I'm gonna tell you right now. Hold on. Let me get my virtual DJ up. Mm. If Meg decide that she wanna hit me, I'm calling. I'm calling Lele. I'm calling Rita. Lele pull it. Hey, Lele pulling up in Goldie. That the one. Talk to me. Yeah. I'm pulling up to all. It's the name drops for me. Hey, I'm going to tell you what. I'll call Ray Ray. I'm going to tell you what. All them people you calling, they better be together. Because one oh. by one, boy, they might be hit. I'm going to tell you that. I'm calling Martha. Martha got some size on. I'm calling Cola. That the one. Uh, don't let oh. Wanda come down here. I'm calling LaWanda. Huh. <laughs> I remember, this was, like, this was like a long time ago. Some girl been stressing me out. This had to been like 2010, 2011. Oh, shit. And uh, I was talking to Martha about it. Martha said, man, I'll call, I'll call my family. I need Smith had that nigga bo- uh, buried in the damn backyard. Damn. What? Don't no, no bury in my backyard. <laughs> Life is good. All right, last, Shout out to Martha. Last thing, before we, uh, <laughs> last thing before we wrap this shit up. Orgies. Oh, I mean, um, damn. Fetishes. We got, we got two more things. We got Fetishes. two more things. We got two more things. Pause. Uh, the fetishes for me. Congrats to Nicki Minaj. Facts, facts. Shout out to the Barb's. Nicki there. Minaj just gave birth to her first baby girl. Let's give Nicki shit. Nicki get some bombs or some some claps. A little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. Shout out to Nicki Minaj, man. That's that's what's up. That's what's up. I'm glad for it. I know that's something. That's oh. something. It's, the, it's a long applause that's for me. Very long, me. That's a long clap. Encore. Uh, round of applause. Round of applause. Woo. But, uh, baby, make that a. That was a vibe. Um, we're talking about that. <laughs> what the fuck we got to turn on, that like... on. We got to turn that on when we lit. Like, they're going to be the song we play on the outro. Ooh, I'm scared of you. But, um, shout out to Nicki Minaj. I know that's something she's been wanting. So, uh. Breastfeeding about to be a breeze. Shout out to them. Easy. Can they, can they breastfeed with fake titties? Yeah. Wow. So, Absolutely. after she had a baby, is the titty going to drop? See, I'm has, not, I'm has not a, the titties already dropped. I'm not a titty expert. I don't love titties, but I got no I'm a gynecologist, it's, so. It's, it's, still, <laughs> it's still populated even if she got it. If your cooter need an oil change, I can't do that. Ooh. And the titties, I can't do nothing with it. I'm scared of you. And in other news, John Legend and his wife Chrissy Teigen had a miscarriage, miscarriage slash stillborn. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so. Definitely sending out prayers to them. And condolences. Uh, and condolences. I, I know Absolutely. that's that's tragic. Um, yeah. Don't don't <coughs> don't know how I would feel um, if I had to go through something like that. Uh, I know, real, you've been through something like that in the past. Oh, now you don't want to talk about it. Um, uh, actually, yeah. Um, if you don't mind, you, you can speak on that a little bit and just what you did. To, I know what speak. you did to get through that, or if you want. To. I'm not. I think of the easiest way to. You don't get the fuck off me, nigga. Um, I'm trying to fuck you. With me, I didn't have like the tools to like, to, like how to know how to go through it. Because as a man, you supposed to say, "Hey, supposed to be strong. Mm-hmm. Do this. You know, do that. Be there for her." Um, and uh, hindsight is just like, I sh- I should have talked more because it's just like, "Hey, you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. You need anything? No." It's like, "Okay, I'll leave you alone." But like you know, really want you to be there for. Um, but actually, I felt like I felt like I, I did like a better job because um, it's a dude I'm cool with. He actually went through the same stuff, and I was telling him because like he's like I don't know what to do. 
my old lady's had a miscarriage, stuff like that. And I, I literally was on the phone with him, talking to him, being there for him, like, hey, brothers, what you do? This and this, stop these streets. You know, like, be there for her and mm-hmm. stuff like that. That's, I mean, that's rough. Like, for, uh, for especially for women. Me yeah, too, yeah. Man. I was going to say, like, and you know, women, they. This is definitely a cognac topic. They're a little more emotional. Oh, yeah. us, and I, I know it, it's it's going to affect them hard because they were actually carrying that baby yeah. inside of them for months. Like, uh-huh. I mean, what like what can you do or, or what did you do to kind of console her after that happened? Um, is it anything you can do? Like my situation, besides just, you know, just letting her know you there for her. Yeah, like I said, my situation was very like unique because like I was trying, I was trying, you know, I have a we were going to specialists. Because like I have a very low sperm count and stuff like that, so wow. it, it was. So just not marching. I don't think mine march either. Blessings and the curse. Mine definitely march. Uh, uh, shout out uh, to Colin. Uh, <laughs> shout out to Colin. <laughs> but um, I mean, life happens for a reason, and um, I'm a firm believer in uh, philosophy, in uh, stoicism. Control what you can control, and what you can't control. Don't mm-hmm. let that shit bother you. Don't let it affect you. Okay, like I might not have a kid with her, but at the end of the day, like you know, you know, got God's son, got. Hella nephews and nieces, and I got homegirls and homeboys with kids and stuff like that. You know, I'm, and I'm there. And maybe you know, maybe that's my purpose. You know, to be the cool drunk uncle. You know, so. trying to holler at all the young young gals. No, no. Now, no. what you guys think about? Uh, she received some backlash from she she posts pictures on social media. You uh, can't tell nobody oh, how to deal with their grief. That was definitely her choice. Me personally. Well, uh, I don't think I would want to go that route, but at a time like that, maybe you want that. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you want that kind of. Cons- you know, I don't know. I, I wouldn't do it personally, but I don't blame her for doing it. There's nothing wrong with that. It's her choice. She can post. Yeah, every, everybody's different. Oh. Like uh, maybe she didn't mind sharing that moment with the world, and uh, you know that's totally up to her. Absolutely. Um, I don't know. Some people feel like those type things should just be completely private, but to each his own. Um, but yeah, uh, once again, prayers out to them, condolences. I know that's tough. Um, moving on into our last topic. I like nasty shit. I the like name it. of this episode, if you uh, <laughs> I like if you nasty. didn't see, is Tizzy's foot fetish. And uh, we're gonna, <clears throat> with that, we're just gonna roll over the you know fetishes. Period. So, <clears throat> like, what's the slackest shit you had that happen to you? Well, why well, were we talking off, about that? Off, that shit. Can we talk about your foot fetish? He paid forty dollars for feet pics, ladies. I, I ladies, know. ladies, drop your cash out name, drop and your feet pics. Well, everybody, you, with that everybody, 40. everybody in the comments, I need to know. Uh, drop down cash out name. <laughs> What's your fetish? What are we dropping them for? Everybody in the comments, you, know, you never know. I just want to hear like what what are some of y'all fetishes? I'm just curious to know. While I speak on mine, um, I love nasty shit. I mean, look who my pops is though. So. Yeah, I don't know if I have any weird or nasty. I don't think a foot fetish is weird. I really don't think. I so. think that's fucking weird. How? It's a foot. <laughs> what does a foot do for you? It's a foot. You make sound like I like licking a woman's scalp. That's weird. It's a foot. Your ears. That's, wow, that's so crazy. So when you when that's you, what, usually women's spots, right? So you lick toes, right? Oh yeah. I think you lick toes. I think everybody. Licks. I've never licked a toe. Mm-hmm. I love um, toes. So when you Scared lick the man. When you lick the toe, like, are you just sucking on the toe, or are you getting? I all gotta in, fuck myself. Or you getting all in between? Me, the toe? it comes off like one of If I got an old lady or something, we on the chair watching TV. I want you to be laying down. I just want to rub your feet. I just want your feet to be in my. I just like, I just like holding feet. Rub your feet. I don't got to be massaging them, but I just want them to be in my hand. It's just a foot fetish. I prefer them to be polished and nice. It's just ball ask, and not ask. polished. I was gonna yeah. ask what, what's I'm still, a, cons- I'm still love them, you <laughs> But I would like them to be nice and you know, polished. I was gonna ask what's, what does JL nice, prefer? <laughs> what does a nice looking foot look like to Tizzy? Blemish like, what's, what's acceptable? There's so many different ways to go about it. I break feet are like very detailed. You know? Some women have feet that look like fingers, toes nah, like fingers. Some being, women have fat feet. Right Some now. people Let's have skinny feet. Shits. Some like I say, I just love feet. And I ain't gonna like I ain't gonna say that's a make or break, but if you have ugly feet, that's gonna somewhat kinda Well that pussy look pretty. I don't give a that's fuck fine. about the feet. That's fine. But when I'm missionary, I ain't gonna put your foot in my mouth. But I ain't doing fucking on missionary. Who? Mm-hmm. See, you gotta take it a whole different place. Pound town. I think I do kinda got a fetish and Uh oh. I don't like women spitting in my mouth. 
You don't like it? I do like it. Oh, okay. That's cool. Right. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Probably I got COVID now. Let's talk about <laughs> that. It. Might be the one. So, hold on. Has, has anyone shared their fetishes yet? Let's talk about y'all fish. So, uh, while, while we waiting on them to share, let's talk about women spitting in your mouth. Uh, when did you realize you liked that, and what was your first, <laughs> what was your first spit in the mouth experience? My first spit in the mouth experience, I was definitely, I had just like watched a porno. Hold up, Legrand said what? <laughs> Maurice said you can't fuck her feet. That would have me roll. You can't fuck her feet, but you can give them feet some. Good I'm at, I'm at, I'm in Pale Metal. I'm at Homicide Drive. I just watched the porno and I had some vagina delivered to me. And it was like <laughs> it's the deliver for me. I was like, I didn't know it's coming through. Like, hey, I'm free. Like, oh, wow. How, how old were you at this time? I had to be like 17, 18. Okay. Maybe 19. So I was watching some crazy shit. I want to say it's like Mr. Marcus. <laughs> I was like, hey, spit in my mouth. And she did it. And my like I was like bracing myself because I'm like, oh, this shit might be nasty. I so this is this was during intercourse or y'all was just Yeah, this was definitely during intercourse. Okay. And I realized like I liked it. That's like, yo, I got a fucking problem. <laughs> like You I'm, wanna know something? Yeah. I had a spit in the mouth experience when I was like 14. Jingy. It wasn't during sex though. What? I'm not. So it was just it was my it was actually my first. Uh, oh let's not talk that. Yeah. Oh we just chilling, we just chilling. And she was like, I wanna spit in your mouth. And I was like, okay, cool. And, and you liked it. And I didn't have a problem with it. He's like, but I haven't done that since. I felt so dirty after the first time. <laughs> she, like, the, the girl, like, first time I had it happen to me, I was like, yo, I need fucking help. Like, this can't be fucking horrible. Little Caesar's vagina, hot and ready. Like, I remember, like, the first girl that, like, squirted in my face. Like, that shit triggered me. Matter of fact, like, back in, like, the high school days, like, did you find a slack when, like, you, like, you maybe kiss a girl and y'all kind of, like, she put her gum in your mouth? Like, I swap gum. Ooh. Like, I don't chew a girl gum. I've definitely swapped. Plenty gone. Like I think it's so normal. Some people think that's slack. That's yeah, if you rough. tongue kiss a girl, it's like it's the same thing. You definitely swap plenty gone. I have an oil fence. I love shouting that booty up before I fuck. Oh, Wowza. Hey, who just said that? Y'all niggas just talk me that hey, shit. I I'm too. Sick of hey, you. word is bond. I put Deontay on the little uh, the bottle, um, the spray bottle. I never heard that shit. The bro, bro was telling me about fellas, this shit. If you don't got one, get your little spray bottle. Put some oil. Put in some it. oil in that bit. Tell spray the, the booty bottle. when you hit it from the back. Tell and wax, put that ting up. Spray that ass and rub that thing in. She that gonna love one. it. She gonna love it every fucking time. I like. I'm I, talking about that thing gonna be glistening. Hey, shout out to Shayla for sex toys to men and females. That Talk one. That one. We're gonna have Shayla on here. So. Boy, that's gonna be a. See, I want to stimulate y'all selves. Get y'all selves gonna... right. That nigga ain't acting right. You need to bust one off. Hey. Ooh, she got. One. She got. <laughs> I was here. thinking Deontay. Yeah. <laughs> I have an oil finish. <laughs> that Deontay, like, bro. <laughs> we gotta have Deontay on this on the show with Shayla. Coach yeah. Production. That's the one. <laughs> Shout out to West Coast. I don't know. I just like. It's just a fetish. Like, nowadays, most guys don't like any hair on a vagina. But I like a little bit of. No. I like a little bit of hair on a vagina. I mean, it's okay. I, I just don't like the hairy booty holes. I seen one, and I was just like, <laughs> yeah, like a, yeah, like a little goatee. Wow. Like the little miniature, like starting up, like a puberty goatee. But it was like, I, okay. I ain't mad at that either. Dun, I'm dun, dun, dun. I'm mean, ain't trying to run everybody off. I prefer it bald, but that hair ain't gonna stop nothing. I like, I like not booty. a zam team. I like booty holes that be sweating, like it be glistening when you hit it from the back. That's like, oh, like that, winking at you. That's like, ooh. <laughs> and I don't know, it be like this, like this, like Boom, pulsating. Yeah, it don't know. There's something about it. I don't know. I'm like, sick of you. Yeah, ball pussy mouth. And do ball pussy fade pussy. Afro pussy. Niggas and foe. Now I do prefer ball. Oh, most definitely. But I ain't mad at a little, you know, little V cut. Mine ain't nobody want that mine. I like, I like that. Matter of fact, um, I have a I real like good friend that. of mine. She's in here. Look, she does little strip. She specializes in waxes. Little strip down the middle. Let me see if she's on here. The landing strip. Oh, I don't want that. I like that. <laughs> you perf- You like that? I like that. <laughs> Nigga. When I started, nigga, I started what? Oh, three? Everybody fuck some hairy people. Everybody been hairy in oh, Women ain't used to shave at all like everybody that. Everybody been hairy in oh, 03, oh, 04. I'm talking right. about wolfing. They were using nair. So well, the people used to use nair, so I take that back. But still. I nair and shave. But apparently, I got told by somebody who does waxes that I'm burning my follicles. Yeah. I don't want to die. You don't suck dick? 
Wow. Wait a minute. Uh, no, there's women out there that don't suck dick. I, I, I can't speak for other women. All speak pussy matters. I'm scared of that. All pussy do not matter. <laughs> and don't. All vagina does not. Trash vagina does not matter. I'm sorry. Oh, man. Y'all done gave me some laughs. I'm going to be honest, though. I still don't understand what trash. What is the trash vagina? Can y'all the It's the perfect equation. So I don't if, I don't know if everybody heard them. They want to know what trash vagina is. Trash vagina is when it doesn't have that balance of warmthness, wetness, and tightness. Can y'all give me the equation? Warmthness, wetness, and tightness. No. So you add the, the two equation. and then divide we it by the. Please give them the equation. So, okay. Oh, oh. So it gotta be. So is there give tra- me a good vagina. There. So, oh, I'm gonna be honest with you. There's some nigga that say vagina. That they ain't never had trash vagina. Niggas be lying too. Niggas be lying on their dick. We gonna yeah. talk about that shit tonight. Never had trash vagina. There's niggas out there who never had trash vagina. All you, pussy ain't good pussy. So they say. So they say. No, because I way you are hundred for hundred. Because I don't fuck behind them and the shit been trash. Everybody got their own preferences though. Well, everybody got their own preferences. That part. Stuff. Yeah. Now, might I want to get into something so bad, but that's super fast. So I'm gonna leave that let's alone. Let's go. Let's go. No, Tizzy, sir. Oh, Tiz, we got. Oh. You see what we got? Be cold. Now is the time. Now is not the now time. Now is the time. You don't want to indict me? Now is the time. Eh, eh. Uh oh, fuck that shit. Super general. Somebody said so all dick don't matters either. Wow. Possibly. That's true. Call it what you want. Hey. Cut all what what type all of dick what, ain't good. What dick. type of dicks don't matter? What type of dicks don't trash. matter? The trash from the small. Like how y'all say trash coochie. What about toxic penis? No, they love that. Man, Y'all love the toxic they, penis. They don't have no rhythm. It's just one yeah, just, roll. Just, just, just fucking all off beat. Are we, are we on Hennessy or are we on Crown? Oh, this level still. It's got to be a Crown dick. Oh, <laughs> Hennessy dick ain't going to be no rhythm. No, I'm fucking talking a nut. I, like, no, there's no in between. So you, you got to please your partner, you though. Please if I'm on that Henny. If I'm, can, we can I admit. think trash vagina, like, let's say, let's say. She got the. If you had trash vagina, nine times out of ten is because the dick was trash. Let's talk about. No, I've had some trash vagina, and it wasn't because her. It wasn't because her vagina (laughs) was actually bad. I remember a female that wanted to be in control the whole time. Oh. And like her her vagina was was straight, but her wanting to be in control, she didn't really have rhythm when riding. She wanted to do like positions I didn't really want to do. Like that's what made the experience. Kind of trash. Well, man, you should have took control and choke her ass and told her to the fuck down. Yeah, but you know, you can't do that I with had everybody. A, I, had a, wanna, I don't want no, you know. I had a chick yeah, that was. Celibate. Celibate. <laughs> you can't do that with everybody. I had a chick that was celibate and she made me wait like four or five dates to fuck her. I think I you called. Four or five days? Four or five dates. How many? T- how long? How spread out were the dates? Like three weeks, three, four weeks. Why buy? Nigga, please. Hey, that's nigga, a lot of money. Uh, let's talk about it. Some girls have to have walk to, on the beach. Some, some girls have to spit. I like start. my toes. I like my toes in the same. Clean the car. Some girls got to spit started. Nine Whoa. times out of ten. But I can see the cooler was good. Nine times out of ten. I was just about to say. They like to say. Oh, she was too much turned on, but it just went by. Oh, that, that's true, but. She put 50 Shades of Grey. 50 Shades of Grey just okay, came out. On DVD, it just wasn't biting. I'll give you an example. I, 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 I understand why she was selling. I'll give you an example. Like I remember a situation where like I wasn't even pursuing this. Like she wanted the sex, yeah. and you just kind of like, she, I'm okay. like, okay, what's up? I'm ready. <laughs> she didn't want it. Back she, could, she still wasn't with. I'm ready. Well, like well, fish and spaghetti. Like that, that that's that's a, that's that's a situation. That's an example of a bad bad, bad cuckoo. Well, Look, can't okay, eat every cat. As shit. You know what? I ate some bad vagina. I definitely caught strep throat once. It was the COVID. Hey, Maurice, right, right, Maurice, right. You caught COVID. <laughs> no, this was twenty fourteen. Oh, so you? Ate I lost like twenty pounds. Oh yeah, you caught something. And you and all because you had ate her out. Mm-hmm. Chemistry. Yes. I thought she was creaming. You know, I thought she was creaming like real you know, bad. No, that's true because I heard from someone Uh-oh. that they sucked a man's dick and they swallowed. And it, uh, must be, he has too much protein in his oh, diet. Oh, upset in your stomach. And it'll make you sick. Yeah. I did hear that. No, that old pussy was real creamy. I was like, ooh, let me eat this. Boy, that was chlamydia. Uh. I, I caught Wow. Some, I thought I was about to die. I couldn't do eat nothing. I had to drink Sunny D. My throat was closed up. We kind of got to wrap this up because we had a. Uh... Nah, fuck that shit. We're giving the shits, nigga. 
I don't give a fuck. Well, first off, I want to thank my Lord and Savior. Future. No, Jesus. Ooh. Jesus. For bringing, wow. For bringing, for bringing this man back from COVID. Because he was down and this out. This man had COVID. But who was the carrier? Who was this the carrier, man, though? Man, who was the carrier? This man had COVID. Tizzy gave it to everybody. I was <laughs> sick for one little podcast. I'm surprised, I'm surprised both of y'all ain't coughed this whole podcast. Was was you were barking. He was coughing. Yeah. This nigga been barking earlier yeah. today. <laughs> like a damn Dalmatian. Yeah. Exactly. He's red. I don't never get sick. That it came through last Thursday. Oh, I'm sick. It was definitely Thursday before last. It was Thursday before last. Too. That nigga's a fucking carrier. The, wow. the T fucking virus. I'm glad. <laughs> that Resident Evil ass virus he had. I'm not sick of you. Thank you. Thank you to everybody who like brought me back to hell because a nigga was dead, bro. Nigga had a common cold. I rose on the third day though. That common cold. And shout my Lord and Savior, Future Hendrix. Future, future, future. future. But, uh, <laughs> wow. I feel like talking. You know, uh, talk about chemistry it. is important. It is, absolutely. <laughs> it is. Man, when you Real don't act like it ain't. <laughs> when you got that vibe with that person, <laughs> that sex hit different. So, I need to have chemistry to have casual sex. No, not at all. No. So, chemistry is not important then? It, it is very it. important. You just answered my question. How? I don't have to have chemistry to have casual sex. Oh, you cute. I'm cute. Oh, I'm medium ugly. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah. Anybody can shit. I'm talking about to have some good, about some good sex. Talking about good sex. Oh. I mean, if that's chemistry, it's going to be better, but you don't You don't need to have it. Oh, you don't have to have it. It's not like, important to go down. It's not important. It definitely is somewhat important. Because I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, if it's the first time I'm fucking, like, I'm going to show off. Like, I'm going to give, like, my mm-hmm. A plus effort. I'm mm-hmm. giving definitely a, a B. C. You got to get an A plus because that's how you're going to refuck if you want to refuck. All right. Once you. I ain't gonna get into that. Wow! Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa, 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 whoa. What was said now? Huh? Yeah. What you say? I don't know what you talking about. What you said? What you said, real? Yeah, what you say, real? I ain't saying shit. Um. Oh shit! I'm yeah. Fucking up on the MacBook. Over there, goddamn typing a Microsoft ah. Word document. Ah oh, shit! Now, I'm saying, um, I'm giving the A plus effort first time I fuck because I don't want to, like, I want to refuck if I want to refuck. Facts. Because Facts. if you give like a C effort or a D effort, you might. You, you might. It's a 50 50 chance. And you gotta think referrals. It's a 50 50 chance. You got referrals. But yeah, you don't, yes. want, you don't want job them, application. You don't want them talking shit about you to the next shit. That part. Because they're gonna tell their girl, yeah. girl, that they got some good dick. Because the first thing when it's over, girl, how that shit was? Yeah, you don't want no. It was all right. It was the all right for me. I don't know too much. About I, had a, I had a chick say that I had trash dick to her homegirl. Her homegirl. And her pussy was okay. Her homegirl getting a pussy, and that shit was sensational. Amazing. <laughs> It was it was borderline roots. <laughs> I went for drill. <laughs> yeah, cause I fucked two within uh, like a month. Mm. That's life. How y'all feel about orgies? Ooh, they gotta be the perfect Ooh. balance. People in the uh, in the comments, how y'all feel about orgies? And you said it gotta be the perfect what balance? Talk about. It. Are we still alive? Should orgies? Be, oh yeah, absolutely. It's That's so alive. crazy to me. Should orgies be planned or do they have to just happen? Lit if it night? happens, it happens. If not, I don't think you can really plan a successful orgy unless you have everybody on the same page. It has to be like a lit night. It's it just kind of happens. I feel like it's got to be organic. It got to be the right people. If it's forced, it's probably gonna be awkward. one person can throw everything off. Next. That's definitely the one. Or well, one person can set that bitch off. Uh uh-uh, uh. You know, I don't want. I don't want to see. It's the switch a roof for me. What you said? What you said? That yes. would be the perfect. Wow. That would be. Let's not say it like that. Who? Well, no. I mean, no. Or it could be. It could be. It could be, it could be either. Or not necessarily everybody. Let's just say if it's five couples. That's the origin. It can at least be maybe two people interchange. But if it can't. Be, if everybody's having sex with their partner in the same room, that's not an origin. That's, that's still an orgy. That's, that's not an orgy. That's not an orgy. No. That's not an orgy. That's voyeurism. <laughs> that's not an orgy. Yeah, that's just like if, usually. If, if, if oh. orgy is having everybody having sex in their own areas where they can see. That's not an orgy. All that's of us have orgies because all of us went to Lake City High School for H that week. Y'all all done had sex in the same room with other people. Yeah, that was it. That's not an orgy. Let's talk about Lake City H that week. <laughs> Let's not talk about it. Every year that's been a slack ass week. Um. Shout out to H. I think that's voyeurism. That's Nigga. not. It's <laughs> just like we're just looking at each other, fucking. 
Oh, cause I want to take us for one person to switch a room. That's gonna uh, start you, the. Okay. Oh, man, here's something like me in it. Let me show Ooh, you this. I love it here. What is the? That hat supposed to be. Don't shout out the women who can't suck dick. That shit true. That's, true. That's really like a break for me. Now you don't. If you can't suck dick, or you don't. Have you guys dick. ever? I'm ready to answer. Participated in orgies? No, unfortunately. These niggas capping. <laughs> no. Wait. These niggas capping. I never had pictures of Ah, uh, shit. Now. Whoa, whoa. I get it. I get it. That's a different situation. I get whoa. it. Whoa. No, that's a different situation. Whoa. I get it. That's not the right terminology. Wow. That's not the right terminology. That's definitely wrong. No, no. Now I ain't even talking about with. See. What the fuck you talking, talking about? Talking. I'm just saying I get it. I never, no, I never participated in orgy. It's all about the switch of room. No switch room, no orgy. Wait, hold on. Hold on. I think it's too deep now. Hold on. Hold on now. Let me see what the fuck you talking about. You wasn't there. You think, there I, you think <laughs> long, you think wrong. <laughs> Bro, it is. <laughs> that was an orgy. Uh, ah. Yeah. Posted. What? And? What? what that post to me? We what? I had a little bit of time. And? I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Any questions out in the audience? Oh, Rev would definitely uh, end up being a swinger once he gets married. Yep. Wow, no. My, <laughs> my bitch for me. Yeah, I ain't playing them type of parties. Shit. Man. No, you're right. You're right. I'm going to get very selfish when I get married. Bitch. You're right. Now, her bitch Rev love, Rev love all his bitches. Wow. I take care of all my bitches. I'm scared of you. There's a difference. All oh, love. Can you know what? Here if I go. tell any of them to do something for me, Okay. And that's how you, and I, I don't even want to say the word bitches. If you take care of every female that you deal with, and like, you know, fuck all the like being future shit like that. Like, let's say like, let's say like you, I care about you, right? We cool. You know, like, hey, you great, you need something, fuck with you. Let me know if you need something. Now, if I'm down and out, I say, yo, hey, such and such, I need help with this. You gonna do whatever you can because like, I reciprocate it, you know, how I feel about you and my emotions, stuff like that. You just can't be giving these girls just dick and then just like, just just expect them to do anything you want to. You gotta take care of them, show them that you care. You have to? Yeah. No, you don't. No, you yeah. don't. You I don't. Mean, if it's some I mean, if you it's want it. Possibly, but possibly. Yeah. You're not pursuing that person. I don't but if you're. It's just oh. But you know what it is with him? Ooh, we about to get into it now. Uh oh, he want he want all of them to himself. He want all of them to himself. Ooh. and he want all of them to love him. To love him and do what he want and them they, to do. And they better not be doing nothing else either. Hey, That's cap. No real best shall cry. And we ain't one. gonna do that. That's what, cause like I I don't I don't care. I don't care if, if I can have a side chick. She has so. <laughs> um, but um, I don't care if I talk to another female and she got a whole nigga. That, that ain't got nothing to do with me. That actually benefit me. You ain't got to depend on me. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody say you're trying to change it up now. Ooh. Hey, but hey, go to hell. I think it's time now. I love it here. Oh wow. Yeah. All right. So final thoughts and final thoughts. I'm looking forward to next week. We're going to be at uh, Culture Ultra Lounge. And uh, we're going to be part. Is uh, Walter coming? Walter coming next week? I'll hit him. Walter and Dad? I haven't, I, haven't, I haven't been able to check my stuff. Or uh, who else we got? We got. Uh, Kiera, her homegirl. Oh, let me hold that book. Let me hold that book real quick. they coming on the 8th, right? Uh, is that the. Yeah, that's next week. That's next Thursday. Yeah. So we got Kiara Alexis Carter. We got her book right here. We're gonna be partnering with her uh, next week at the uh, Culture Ultra Lounge. Yeah. So we look forward to that, and we may have some other special guests. We also got another big interview in the works. So we got we're working a, on that. Uh, any female, actually, um, might as well go ahead and open up the floor. Any oh, female yeah. next Thursday, got their own business, you know, doing their own thing. Um, Pull up. Um, I was gonna have Shayla pull up. What well, shit? Shayla come through Thursday too. Shit like that. Facts. Um, y'all know anybody who would love to be on here? Um, Kia share what the fuck going on? Y'all fucks with y'all here? Shot Lake City. Um, I'm drunk now. Oh, you 
two shots. Um, wow. Definitely had that's, several cups. That's so crazy to me. Was drinking before you got here, bud. I was mm-hmm. drinking off oh, never mind. Um, I'm going to incriminate myself. Uh, Sick of you. Any shots before we leave? I'm scared of this pod. I'm just, don't be. <laughs> don't be scared. What are you scared for? I was scared to look back at it. I love it. We're going to have some clips. We're going to have some crazy clips. Some some slack ass clips. I love it here. Um, uh, I feel like potting some more, but we're going to do that. Appreciate everybody that tuned in. If you haven't shared it, hey. Please do. Share this more poker. (laughs) It's the COVID uh, for me. What are we going out with? Uh, We definitely said um, the Waka Flocka. We definitely said they made that ass clap. Mm -hmm. Um, My name was Tizzy Flockavelli at one point, but we ain't gonna talk about that either. That was you had baby hair. Wow. Yeah. I def- no, that was right after the baby hair phase. 2012. Yeah, I didn't cut the hair by the end. You hear me? We was definitely going by the end. All right, y'all. Shout to Club Spin, but we gonna talk about that. I just see that picture of the group chat under the Club Spin. Excuse me. Sorry. Right. Uh, I'm gonna put me on my cup. Oh, no. I don't go in the club, man. Hey, bro, you got some? Buy me one once again, bro. Alright, fuck with me. I'll see you there. Uh, Round of applause. <laughs> Baby, make that ass clap. Drop it to the floor. Make that ass clap. Round of applause. Baby, make that ass clap. Drop it to the floor. Make that ass clap. Let me see you. Bust it, bust it, bust it, bust it, bust it, bust it, baby, drop it to the flow in. Bust it, 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 drop it down and jerk. Bounce that ass, shake that ass like the twerk team. Hair long, ass fat, shout at me. That girl look like Holly Berry when I'm on the means. When I hit the scene, girls yelling and they scream. Flocka, can you be my baby daddy? Yes. Pippin' like I'm Dolomite. Hoes up in my caddy. Smoke like I got cataract. In the strip club, throwing up them stacks. Got rats on top of rats. Bust that.